We are going to be talking about two different forms of measurement when we're talking about volume. One of them is called a liter. Everybody say liter. Some people might say it as liter. Um, it doesn't mean that they're the boss. It's just a form of measurement. So I'm wondering what a liter looks like. Do you have any predictions? Do you think a liter will be a whole measuring cup? Do you think a whole liter will be a whole water pitcher? Or do you think one liter will be an eyedropper? Now that you have your prediction, I'm going to show you what one liter looks like. It's the measuring cup. So I'm going to fill this up to where it says one liter. This, my friends, is one liter. I'm going to add some blue dye to this. And if this does spill, the table's not gonna be the only thing that's a little blue. Okay, so I'm gonna add a couple drops. Ooh, already going. Okay. Now you can see what one liter looks like. So this is one liter of water. I am wondering about our second form of measurement. Now, if this is one liter, liter, if this is one liter, I wonder how much one milliliter will be. Do you think that one milliliter will be this water pitcher? Filling up to capacity, that would be one milliliter. Do you think one milliliter will be this cup up to the brim? Or do you think one milliliter will be the eyedropper? If you predicted that one milliliter will be closer to the eyedropper than the other two, you are correct. One liter is actually 1,000 milliliters. Okay, so we need to have 1,000 milliliters in order to create this amount. So I'm going to show you what one milliliter looks like. And it's about 20 drops from an eyedropper, okay? So I'm gonna fill it with my blue water. What are you gonna do with it? <laughs> I'll tell you. All right, so we're going to get this little measuring cup. Look at it, it's so cute! And if you look at home at your measuring cups, you might notice that on one side it gives you cups and tablespoons, and on the other side it actually shows you a, a lowercase m and an uppercase l. That stands for milliliter. And it can actually show you an amount of milliliters on the measuring cups that you have at home, which would be really cool to investigate later on with your parents' permission. So I'm going to show you what one milliliter looks like. And if you look closely, it says um, it goes from 10, 20, it has a space for 30, 40, 50, 60, all the way up. Um, I'm going to show you what one milliliter looks like. And it's about 20 drops from an eyedropper. So. Twenty. That was pretty impressive. It almost took the entire eyedropper. That is one milliliter. You can barely even see it. There's a little bitty line. A little bit of water. This is one milliliter. This is one liter. Okay. One milliliter. One liter. It takes 1,000 times this amount to get one liter. Stay tuned for the next video.